the actual makeup that we use. So it's not actual paint, even though it's being applied with a paintbrush. No, it's not paint, it's a MAC. Is it water based? Water based. Water based, water -based cream. Or a MAC cake, yes. Okay. So it's like a face paint? Yes, it yeah. is actually. And it's really light, it doesn't mm. feel, once it's once it's all on, you don't feel like you're caked in makeup. Mm. Presumably that must be quite important when yeah. you're under the, the lights. You, you don't want it out. feeling really thick and also just sweating off. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is all put on first. I remember when Jo, the, the makeup jo de Lourdes, yeah, yeah. Came, designer came over and um, he was saying that for hands, because we use a brush as well for the hands, but on Broadway they were using a big sponge to basically just throw it on, but it's you know it depends what you prefer, what you find easier. What would you prefer? We've tried. I like the sponge initially, yeah. but then I quite like you know the finished result that the brush gives. Mm. And presumably, so lots of shows you must actresses do their own makeup. But yeah. Presumably, you can't do your own makeup in this one. No, I, mean, I was just I was saying to Polka just then. I bet by now I probably could, but it's actually very important for it to look right and for it to look flawless and it's um there's definitely a, a method to it so what is this stage now that's the same i'm trying to fill the gaps where just the skin, the skin shows with the smaller brush and does it come up on people during ever so slightly um and again different people my standby Haley galavan it comes off her hands a lot yeah. um for some reason, I guess it just absorbs into some people's skin and not so much with others, but no, I kind of get a little bit, at the moment where the weather's hotter and you're sweating a little bit more, you see a bit of a difference, but it's really not too bad, considering I'm constantly touching things and got the suitcase and all sorts of things. So you never leave the ground a green hand print or something? Oh, no, it's not too, <laughs> bad. not too bad. This is the grease paint that goes over the top that's... Um, it's made by Crayon. Mm. So what is grease paint? It's a more greasy, so that's water based, so it goes mm -hmm. on the skin. This one kind of stays on top of it, it sits on top. Yeah. And you will see in a second how amazing that will be. Just evens everything out, I love yeah. this bit. So again, you have to just blend everything. Oh, it starts to feel like you're painting for this thing. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting to see how it goes on different skin. I do a lot of skin things. And you were just saying earlier that people sometimes turn up. Characters. Yeah, we have people turn up, lots of alphabets, um, but there was a brilliant group of fans um, who were our hardcore fan base who come lots and lots and lots, they're very supportive, very loyal, and it was one of the young ladies' birthdays, and so the whole team turned up, each dressed as a different character. Oh, that does look good. <laughs> and all around your hairline mm -hmm. as well, so you actually end up with like a green hairline. I used to be very, very blonde, I used to have bleach blonde hair, and the second I started this, I think within a week, I was like, no, I need to remove the blonde, remove the bleach, so it's actually much darker than it used to be. Just because the green would come off of it? It just kind of sticks a little bit to any, you know, blonde in the hair, or anything that makes the hair a bit drier. And I have to set the green in by using powder. So that's just normal powder? Mm. And just cry on either way, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Because if you use white, it will kind of bleach you a little bit. That's mm. why you have to use a little bit different tone. This is amazing how it just sets everything. Even if I scratch my face by accident during the show, there's no sign of it. I love this one. I love to do eyebrows. Okay. Mm. We're using a cardboard mm. eyeshadow, mm -hmm. and sometimes it just drops underneath your eyes. So I tend to put a little bit of power there. So if it drops, just a little bit of powder. This is just a purple. What's this kind of called? Uh, purple haze. Purple haze. A bit of definition. Mm. It's amazing how well the purple goes with the green. How bright it looks. Yeah. It's quite a lot of makeup to wear every night. Mm. Do you, have you changed? Do you have any special? And your routine with us now? Does um, it well, affect your skin or is it all quite... It's actually to... fine because we're given lots of really good products to take it off. You're not just left there with a baby wipe to rub it off. We get a great um, MAC Pre Cleanse, which is an oil, which mm -hmm. when I first saw it, I thought, oh my God, that's going to make me really spotty. It's um, Dermalogica. Dermalogica Pre Cleanse, yeah. sorry. And um, 
you just rub that over everything that's green and it almost dissolves it and then you get straight into a hot shower mm -hmm. and it just wipes away and then there's just certain areas I use those little exfoliating gloves for my chest and my hands and then come back in here and then occasionally a little wipe around the hairline just to completely get it off but it's it's really not too bad to get off and presumably as natural as anyway you're not enough to wear a lot of makeup whether yeah. it's green or not so. exactly so and you know we get facials every couple of months just to clean the skin out it's quite disgusting, but you get green heads. They're not <laughs> no. black heads, they're green heads. Um, and the therapists, beauty therapists, are often saying, what on earth do you do for a living? You have to go through the whole, you know, explaining why you have green in the pores of your skin. <laughs> It was quite strange someone else putting lashes on you. And how about the green makeup look? How long does that last? How fast is that? Green makeup mm. in um, yeah. this one, do you get three stacks of it every year? Um, well, I've been ordering constantly. And also the idea of this run out to so now literally getting more and more mm. and more. But I think um, once every three months I get like 25 perhaps. And you get through those? Mm, no, I don't think it. Mm. I will go through them completely, but I like to know that they're there. there. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of crucial to the show yeah. to have a stock of green. Imagine as a we a show can cancel. Yeah. There's no mm -hmm. green. And there's also four of us in total that need our own makeup. So mm -hmm. there's me, there's my standby, and then two other understudies. And, and we all need our own makeup. And uh, touching up downstairs yeah. as well. So separate ones mm -hmm. for the makeup mm -hmm. artist to have in there bags to touch up the makeup throughout the shows. I have uh, mm -hmm. lots of the fans give me some weird and wonderful things and probably see lots of my knitted alphabets and all sorts of things there and one one fan brought me this amazing nail polish which is like all different sparkly greens. I mean obviously I can't wait for the show mm -hmm. but I'm trying to think of an event that I can wear it. And it's very glamorous alphabet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that will do. Um, that's it. Look at your eyes, oh, they're amazing. amazing. I think it's the lashes, the lashes change in the Yeah, absolutely. Well. It's so strange how normal I feel this. I really feel like I could just go out now. <laughs> You'd get some looks. But it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's yeah. really lovely makeup. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Pleasure. Well, I'm going to go and watch the show and I'm going to watch you like this. No, I'm going to go and watch the show and you're going to play <laughs> off of her.